What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle where I'm just sort of like bypassing turns at the moment. I'm gonna, I think, oh, shnikes. How is a dog man this close to the Anishinaabe? Either way, burst fire him with everything you've got. Stunned and bleeding. We're both stunned and bleeding, okay. Alright, I had to take a timeout. I had to take a timeout. I had no words. No words. I said that was gonna be our last playthrough, but honestly, like, I really want a good ranged playthrough to be on YouTube. Like, I want it to be here, and I want it to be functioning, and... We just keep getting such bad, ridiculous RNG, like, seriously. Spawning a dogman on us one unit away, and then one-shotting us through toughness? Like, it's just... That was a no-win situation. Everybody loses no matter how you played that one. Because if we dropped the cart, we got one-shotted. If we ran away, we weren't going to outrun him with the cart, one-shotted. If we, fight it, we fought him, we went down shooting, one-shotted. Essentially, no matter what we do in that situation, we would have got one-shotted. And it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well with me. Like, balance issues still exist in this game, and they need to be fixed. And I get the distinct feeling they probably never will be, because the developer's already said he's moving on to other things. Like, there are specific things that, like, need to go away in this game that need to stop happening. And one-shottings, when you're awake, not even sleeping, are one of them. They're one thing that I strongly do not agree with. I... I don't know. Like I said, no words right now. No words right now. Like, it's enough to make you just kind of, like, uninstall the game sometimes. And believe me, I thought about it. I sat here for a minute just like, eh, I'm done. But we'll do one more. I'm not stoked. I'm definitely not stoked about it. Believe me when I say I took the wrong metabolism. There we go. That leaves me with... I was going to say our point spread looks weird right now. We'll take tough. We'll take that. We'll take lock picking. That leaves us with two. If I take myopia, we can take athletic. And I guess that'll be fine. Go ahead and use botany on the door right here. Check for the bank account. I... It takes the wind out of your sails sometimes. It'll take the wind out of your sails. I don't... There's nothing... Oh, hey now. That's, that's a plus. That'll start us off right. Better than nothing. Let's go. I mean, at least there's some small benefit to us restarting. Any lock storage sheds? Because I take those first. There we go. Crowbar. So we're starting off pretty well already. Starting off okay. We're a ranged character, so obviously the crowbar is not, like, amazingly useful. But it still increases our chances. And since it's a little bit cold outside, I don't think it's that bad. We'll probably be fine, but... It's a little cold outside. Don't step into forests on your first turn. I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. That was a big noob move because you see it negates your next two turns. Which means that if it's cold out, you may have just killed yourself with no way to get out of the forest. As of right now, I'm hoping the temperature will re-even itself out. It may or may not. It sort of depends. Luckily, the temperature is... Oh, it started raining. Okay, so that's going to be a pretty major nerf to our ability to survive. On this side, we got a bunch of stuff we can't carry. So, uh, our options are limited to... We can make a sling right now. We've got nowhere to carry ammo, though, except inside of the sling. And we'd have to drop something else in order to make it work. I'm going to wait it out for a second. Hopefully the rain will go and the temperature will go back up. And maybe we'll have a fighting chance when we stumbled into black mold. Okay. Once again, that'll do it. Temperature's still falling off. We want to stay near Guy just if we can. We got a sleeping bag, so that's a plus. We got a first aid kit with a bunch of stuff in it, too. However, nothing to store any of our gear in, unfortunately. I don't think you can wear that as a backpack. We can put the first aid kit because it does look like it has... Well, it's got painkillers and it's got bandages. It'll hold a little something-something, though. So it'll be alright. I could actually put this on a strap... And then we could carry this with us, maybe? The soup can would allow us to purify water, although we have no way to start a fire as a non-trapping character. Can't put on multiple pairs of pants, unfortunately. I could tear up the foil. Oh, well, that didn't work. I was hoping I could do it like a quick way by doing it like that, but nope. Didn't function the way I was hoping it would. Lesson learned. Alright, well, with the things where they are... I'm going to sit here for a second, and we're going to try. He's barefoot and trying to punch me. 
He's a bad mother and he's got a hardened spear. We're probably dead right now. Oh no, he ran away. Weird. Okay, so I guess he didn't want to fight us. I guess not. I'll probably... Go back down to here, and we've got a big string. I can have the sleeping bag. The game will give us a free one if it gets too cold. It's not a big deal. What I can do, though, is I can do this right here, which will then free up our other hand. We can throw that on our back, and now we can carry... Yeah, now we can carry the sleeping bag around with us, Scott. I'm still recovering from that last death, I swear. Like, honestly, though, like that was one of those times where rage was close at hand. Like, I had to turn the game off and be like, nope, nope. Like, I had to. There was no choice. The game had to go for a second. I had to walk around the house, like, rubbing my head with my hands and just be like, oh, Jesus, we cut ourselves on some broken glass. Okay, well done, amigo. I'm proud of you. How did you cut your groin on some glass, man? If you cut, like, your hand, I'd be like, all right, accidents happen. Like, your foot, all right, we're shoeless. But you cut your groin, bro. What do you, like, does scavenging include rubbing your wang all over everything we come across? I'm starting to think it might, considering how often you wind up with groin injuries. There's a bit more. Something to keep us warm, at least. And a gator. I don't like wearing Crocs, but the apocalypse calls upon what you need, I guess. You gotta kinda, like, let it go when you're in the apocalypse. We've got a couple of shirts here. I'll probably take the two best out of the stack, which is these two. Two of the exact same shirt, actually. I may rip up the remainder and create a sling, which I will keep in here so that if I have to get into a fight, I can... So at least I'll have a fighting chance, because we do have a dog in the neighboring hex. Actually, yeah, do that right now. Just go ahead and do it. You can actually put it in your hand. Drop that on the ground for right now. And we will lock and load for a second. I mean, we only have 14 rounds, so we'd have to get pretty lucky. But it's the best that you can hope for sometimes. Let's keep scavenging. No, we're not going to leave just yet. We're not quite there. We're not quite there. Let's go ahead and loot a little bit further. We step through a rotted floorboard, which is going to... We injured our groin again. Apparently our groin is like... It looks like we're wearing like the bottom part of like either a climbing... I don't know, like a climbing belay, like one of the little rigging... I don't know what the suits are called. I'm sure they have a name. Anyways, it looks like it. Let's end our turn right here. We'll try and get some warmth back. I'm going to search for this guy. Because I want him to leave, and I can't retreat from this position right now. A stranger who's tough and behind cover. I'm going to run away for right now. It's going to cost us a lot to run away. He's a bad mother. He does have some stuff that we need, namely a sweatshirt and some other like rudimentary stock items. Oh, we already have our slingshot. Never mind. I didn't even need to get into my inventory right now. All right. So in the off chance, then, let's keep running. I'm going to actually let me adjust that real fast. And since we fell down, he's probably going to charge us. Unfortunate. He's on us pretty good right now. He's on us pretty good. He can only punch us, so it's not that big of a deal. But still, I'd like to engage from a range since that is our forte. I think we're just getting bad rolls right now. I don't know. Real bad rolls or something. We've got a, he's got a concussion and he's stunned. Okay, so that's good. He's behind cover. I'm going to stay on him, I guess. We don't have that many rocks, but I'm going to try and get him. There we go. Yeah, kick him. See if we can end this thing right now. Finish him off. Kick his head in. There we go. Awesome. I don't want to sound too violent about this, but seriously. You got to do what you got to do, and he's got a riot bag. It's on now. We're talking about survival of the fittest out here. And that's what I'm trying to make happen. I'm so disappointed about that last death. Oh, my God. My heart hurts so much right now. My heart is broken. My heart is broken because I was so excited about that character. I was ready. I was so ready for that to be the character. And it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, I think the key here is that I need to stop getting my hopes up. I think that's the part where I'm fundamentally just like failing. Getting my hopes up too high. I'm going to eat that Twinkie because it sounds delicious. And then maybe that Twinkie. Throw that in there for now. God, we could use some more rocks. Definitely need some more rocks if we're going to be beefing with people. We should be alright. I I don't know. We are freezing right now, and we are kind of thirsty. Let me... I'm going to scavenge this hex for a second. I would love to get some rocks out of just about anywhere. But I'm going to drink that too. We're out of moves. Let's see what happens with nighttime here. 
with our three moves, I can't say that it's probably going to be too positive for us. I'm going to throw this on the ground right now. We'll just try and keep our temperature up for the moment. We're probably going to get run up on and killed. It seems vaguely... Hey, you don't have insomnia. Player had trouble falling asleep. Why? Go for it, man. You're fine. Wow. There we go. Finally. We didn't take insomnia, so we shouldn't have too many problems with this, but it may rear its ugly head from time to time. Let me get up inside here. These forest huts are amazing. I love them. I know that's kind of like obvious at this point, but night vision goggles, some broke ass night vision goggles. Also, some pebbles. I'm actually more excited about the pebbles than I am about the night vision goggles. So, anyways, we've got a little bit more ammo now. I do feel better about it. Let's scavenge the forest for a bit, see if we can come up with anything on this side. Play it a little bit safe. I'd like to scavenge around Zomzoms for a bit until we find ourselves maybe some kind of, you know, useful backpack, maybe. I don't know. I, we're in a bad situation right now where we kind of just need to, like, survive as well as we can for the time being. That guy's got what looks like a stick or something. I don't think he's going to bother us. I really sincerely don't. Oh, no, he is. Okay, so he's got a crude broadhead arrow. I'm going to sprint away to get some gaps in between us and him. I'm going to run again. We fell down. I'm going to sling at him so that he's suppressed now. I'm going to get up. He is behind cover, so we're going to have to wait for him to come out from behind there. Otherwise, is he advancing behind cover? If he's advancing behind cover, it gives us an advantage by range, though. So if he's just going to... He'll have to come out eventually. There we go. Got him. Coughing, blood stun, severe pain, bleeding behind cover. All right. So now we got him lined up. He's behind cover again, though, so I'm going to run. He can't keep up with you if he goes behind cover. That's the secret, is that he has to come out from behind cover in order to properly, like, close the gap with you. So if your enemy's behind cover, just let it go and just kind of, like, wait it out until he comes out from behind it. If he's smart, he would never come out from behind cover because his best chance right now is to run me out of ammo, although I don't think it's going to happen. He's still behind cover. Let's just wait for it. Okay, so he's out from behind cover. He's bleeding and vulnerable. There we go. He's out. And so now what we want to do is he's knocked out, so we want to close the gap with him, like, right this second. And then, since he's in shock, we just want to finish the job. That's all there is to it. Just got to finish him off. Tell me you have alcohol. Tell me that's alcohol I see. Oh, he got me all excited. Nope, nothing. Not a zilch. Although, it stands to be reckoned that we could make ourselves a makeshift sack. And so let's go ahead and do that. There it is. So, at least it serves some function, that fight. Typically, I don't like to put myself into bad situations unless I've got, like, a clear and present endgame for what we're trying to attempt. I'm not going to collect that arrow. It's kind of, well, I don't know. It's kind of busted up. I don't see any point, but what I will do is break that bottle so we can get some 100% glass so that I can make a few more arrows in just a little bit. I don't know if it's worth it. Let me... I guess I'll bring it along with me. I see no reason not to. We could throw poisonous berries. Oh, look, he had the shoe. He had the... Oh, good. He had the comparable shoe that we needed. Well, now I'm double happy. Okay. That guy's got a spear, which makes me really depressed. Especially considering I'm out of bullets for my sling. Let me see. Just in case somebody runs up on us right here. Yeah, that'll do it. I need a few more rocks. Need a few more rocks. Throw that into there. We got a 10 stack right there. Yes, sirree. There it is. All right, so now we're in a much better position when it comes to actually propelling things at our foes. Ooh, 95% glass? Yeah, I'll take you too. Just making arrows. That's all that I'm thinking about doing here in the future. We haven't scavenged this. Our temperature's looking good. We've had a couple good runs in a row now, though, so I'm thinking our luck should break in just a second. That's good. That's terrible. That's terrible. Take this one. If you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's because the quality of the shard actually dictates the quality of the arrow. So, if you're having problems with your arrows breaking, you want to focus on only getting like 100% arrows if you can help it. Sling's still out. Let's go hit the residences over here. Hopefully we'll survive. I would love to make it more than a couple of episodes without having to just nerd rage about our bad luck. Nothing found in the locked shed, unfortunately. Pretty sure I selected a location right there, but maybe I didn't. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It's raining, so the temperature's going to drop on us a little bit. We're not looking so great. 
couple of sticks and some other random refuse, but nothing that I'm really happy about throwing into my backpack. Actually, we'll start accumulating newspapers too so that we can start getting some paper around. On this side, there it is. We got the twigs. We got... Okay, all right. Not the best area, but still, it did something. We'll head over to Zom Zoms and we'll see what happens over here. We're crashing after a caffeine high. That's fine. That's going to explain why we're overheated, sweating, and generally not feeling so bueno. We've got another newspaper right here. These do stack. There we go. And a few more rocks, just in case. Now then. We'll get started on this side with the abandoned mobile home. A couple of little goodies right there, but nothing I actually really want to, like, single file into my backpack at the time. Ooh, we've got a stranger. He's barefoot and bleeding. Yeah, he's got a spear. That's kind of bad news bears us for us, but since he's behind cover, I'm going to let him withdraw if he wants to. I'm going to take the first swing at him because... Allowing anything else might not be the smartest choice, but for the time being, until he gets rid of his cover, I'm just going to have to wait him out. Wait, wait, wait. He is advancing behind cover, but we should outpace him really, really easily. We're not divisible by three right now, so I'm just going to throw some random rocks at him. Just in case, because why not? Then we'll burst fire him right there. He's done. This guy's finished. Game over, pal. Game over. Pick the wrong person to mess with. Oh, good. I'm going to take your one skate shoe, and I'm going to throw it over there. Is it a running shoe? Oh, it's a running shoe. Running shoe, skate shoe. It all works for me. As long as it does its job and encompasses my foot, I don't care. Got a copper book on this side. Don't know if I want to make room for it. Don't know if it's worth it to make room for it. Ooh, we got good water right here. Yeah, I'll take that. That'll work out for us. We got five on that side. A little bit low on ammunition, but not that low. Not low enough to make me stress about it. Probably keep the extra shoe just in case we find some extra storage space. Another dead human. Another dead human clogging our path. Unfortunately, they keep taking swipes at me. They should know better. They really sincerely should. They should know better. On, we have binoculars with a strap for $5. Not even that useful. Okay. Eh, I'm pretty happy with what we have going for us right now. We have some band-aids, we have some other stuff, but by and large we're looking okay. I'll pry this door open real fast. Nothing found inside of there. I'm a little bit confused as to whether I should do Zomzoms early rather than later. I said that in the last episode and we didn't even live long enough to do it, so... Honestly, I could have made the wrong call right there. Nothing we got at Zomzoms though I think was going to save us from... Oh good, the roof collapsed. Let me handle some of our boo-boos here. Throw that up there. We're bleeding from our head. Alright. Well, at least now we have an excuse. And so now that that's there, we got dirty rags. I'll throw those on these since they're no longer open wounds. Just something to cover them up and keep them from getting damaged. Awesome. It looks like our character's wearing a harness of band-aids. On this building, we're going to go in deep. We got a little bit of water, but nothing else. No useful items. I don't know. I mean, I'll stack these up because I think I have an empty spot right here. Yeah. We'll fill those up for just a moment, and then we'll just keep on trucking. There's nothing else left to do. I'm glad that we have shoes. It's always a big deal with shoes because you lose so many movements per turn if you don't have shoes. And so in the early game, I always feel very, very wasteful. Like, I don't have the things that I need in order to do stuff. There's five sticks right here. If we had a big stick, let me make... Actually, I'm going to spend a little bit of time making arrows, actually. And once we get the arrows made... Have I tore up the papers yet? I haven't tore up the papers, have I? Newspapers. There they are. Let's tear those up. And now what I want is we need some string as well. Like maybe like nine string, possibly? I don't know. Seems fine by me. And then we just need a crude piercing arrow. I'm going to make as many of these as I can while we sit here. Because... Are those not the same thing? Crude piercing arrow, crude broadhead arrow. Oh, okay, so... Alright, well that was a mistake on my part. I didn't know what I already had. Now I know, though, and so we can fix it. I'll just do piercing arrows. I find them to be better. I don't have any real reason for that. I just feel like I have better luck with it. So we'll go with crude piercing arrows right here for as long as they'll keep stacking them into our inventory. There we go. And so now we're ready for a bow. But I can turn a crude piercing arrow into a crude piercing arrow? I'm a little confused. Okay. What do we have now? Four, and then another crude piercing right there. Throw that into the stack, and then we'll keep that in our backpack for right now. 
so that once we start up with a bow, we'll be able to deal a little bit more damage. Honestly, not impressed with the bow, though. Not a big fan of the bow. Like, sometimes the bow does amazing things, but most of the time, I feel like when I've got a sling, I do a little bit better. Like, I do a little bit better. I've got the tarp right there. We've got a little bit of water. I might as well bring it along with us in case we've got to drink it on the road. Got a two stack of rocks right there. Sure, two rocks better than no rocks when I put them up in my inventory. On that side. Get to the looting. Looting around Zomzoms, typically a pretty good idea in the early game if you aren't going to freeze to death or anything. And there we go. There's one of the things that we're looking for as well. A canary lighter. Because we're not a character with trapping, we don't have the ability to make fires like whenever we want to. And so we've got to be careful about it. Meat cleaver would be nice to bring along, but... I don't know, not my style. Little serial, it's a little serial killery for me. We've got another stranger over here. I'm gonna sneak away until he makes me. And then once he makes me, we'll go for the kill because I don't know what he's got and what he doesn't have. We'll blast away. There we go, he's got a crippled right arm, he's suppressed. He can only fight us with a, yeah, with a punch right now. I'm gonna run away now that he's suppressed. This is basically the strategy for ranged combat. Fire, 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 suppress, wait, wait, wait. Once, they're su they, once they come out of being suppressed, then you finish them off. And with one rock, we should be able to finish that one. Oh, good, he had a chunk of meat cured. I don't know if that's good meat or bad meat. It can be hard to tell sometimes. It should say human next to it, though, if it's bad for us. So there you go. Drink this water for right now. We might get diarrhea from it, but oh well. Hey, we got a multi-tool out of the deal. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty swell. We don't really have anywhere to put it, but... I can make room, I think. Here, yeah, get out of here, gator shoe. Nobody needs you. There we go. There's a croc outlet where I live, and I'm just like, how could you make... Like, crocs are the worst shoes ever. Like, how could you build an entire store around crocs? I feel like you'd have a hard time stocking the shelves. It's, it's not an in-demand product. Like, seriously. I just... Who wears crocs? Like, I don't know anybody that wears crocs. I, I mean, if you're desperate, yeah. If I have no shoe at all, and I find a croc on the ground, like in the game, yeah, I'm gonna wear it. But honestly, crocs are just, they're kind of just, they don't seem comfortable. They're kind of like those jelly shoes that little girls wear. Like, they just don't seem like they're comfortable. They seem like they would chafe. And if you wear socks with them, you look even weirder. Like, lots of problems surrounding those. Lots of problems, and I don't really trust it. Don't really trust it. We're gonna try and get ourselves up to a good location to sleep. Hopefully we don't get annihilated. It wouldn't be anything other than par for the course, to be honest. Like, we die a lot in this game. I mean, it happens. We're rested up. No reason to go anywhere else. I realized I was carrying a sleeping bag and I could have put it down, but it doesn't matter. We will scavenge just a little while longer. Let's... I don't know what just happened. Did anybody see... I'm talking as though this is a stream. A bad mother with a spear. Let me, yeah, let me get him behind cover, because if he gets within three of us with that spear, we're done for. Like, we're out. Like, that's it. I'm going to try and get a bunch of range on him, because that spear is a really, really... It's not as hazardous as, like, the other spears, but it's still hazardous. That one's the worst spear. That's the one that you make with just, like, a knife and whatever else. He's in severe pain right now. I'm just going to run away. We're going to wait for him to come out from behind cover. Oh, he's still advancing from behind cover, even though he's coughing blood. Okay. If I was him, I would just bail. To be honest, I'm giving him so much ground right now that retreat is actually an option. And he's out from behind cover. So open fire one more time. He is now dead as a doornail. And we got some whiskey up in here. Got ourselves some of that huske. Alright, so now that we've got that. Anything in his pockets? Anything valuable here? Even more importantly, anything that I want. A spacewalk running shoe for the left foot. Unfortunately, I need one for the right foot if we were going to match. Straps a little messed up. Binos aren't really that great either. Probably drink the bad water real fast. That seems about right, though. Let's finish this off, and then we'll break off the episode. Let's see here. We got a flashlight, which will be useful someday. But as of right now, not the most useful utensil. We're actually kind of out of room, which is our biggest problem. I need a backpack. Actually, I don't have a bag on my back. For whatever reason, I was thinking that this was a bag on my back. I don't know why I was doing that in my head. It was just not computing properly, and I kept looking at it over and over and over again like something's not right here, but I just couldn't like put two and two together. I don't know. Now that we've got four, though, and I'm not feeling like I'm at the back end of the kindergarten class. Oh, look! They gave us a bow, a Greenwood bow. 
Greenwood bow is the one that you can craft in the forest. It's not like amazing, but it's pretty good. It's a decent weapon. I mean, it's like three or four steps down below a firearm. It's one below. I mean, it's it's worth using if you start at a long range from your enemy. Like, it's not a terrible item. It, it deals damage, and it can definitely be fatal. But I should probably shred up some of these chip bags, too. We're going to need more fletching soon. Especially since we just got a bow. This stranger seems to be... Let's sneak away for a bit until he makes me. Once he becomes aware of us, I'll start worrying about it a little bit more. But up until then... Okay, so he's got us made. Now comes our option. We could try and talk. It's a bad mother, though, so he's actually going to be an enemy. We'll fire an arrow at him. He's vulnerable and bleeding. He's ripped the arrow out of himself and is now using it as a weapon. This is the problem that I consistently find with using arrows, is that you're technically, like, giving your opponent weapons to use against you, albeit at high velocity and also with much vitriol. But at the same time, really, we missed that many times in a row, huh? All right. Well, run away for right now. Let me get our sling back up and into our inventory. I'm not going to give him the Greenwood bow. Because that'll give him an arrow to fire. I have to, actually. I don't really have a choice. I can, however, reload this while we're here. And we'll just make the best of a bad situation now. Oh, really? He didn't pick up the... That's interesting. Alright, well, let's get to work then, ladies and gents. He's suppressed behind cover and stunned. We're actually getting attacked by a lot of people in this episode. Like, we've gone through, like, a very, very critical amount of combat. The extent to which, like, normally, I try to avoid this altogether whenever I play the game. But it's going that way for us, so whatever. We'll make it work. He's out from cover. Let's finish him off. He's got a concussion. He's stunned. He's bleeding. He's back behind cover again. I am going to... Oh, he's lost track of us. Interestingly enough. How he lost track of us, I'm not sure. We're in the middle of a battle here, but... Eh. What do I know about anything? We've got a 45% croc right there versus a 42% croc. We've actually got a lot of stuff right now laying around that could be useful. I mean, we only got two arrows left, so I'm not so stoked about... The Greenwood Bow didn't do it right there. Greenwood Bow, you're on my shit list. We're not friends anymore. I'm going to leave you for the worms. Because worms love bows. Bows are delicious to worms. They're like, mmm, delicious, delicious bows. We've got an iPhone that we can sell when we get to the Anishinaabe tribe, which is always the first place that I go. He could have picked up a spear off the ground, too, and didn't. This guy was just messing up along all different boundaries. Yeah, he got to get his head screwed on better because he could have won that fight if he had played it a little bit differently. Not like super differently, but still. Let's get some tinfoil up out of these scraps real fast because we're going to have to make some fletching. And I'll throw that into a pocket somewhere so that later on we can get ourselves all nice and set up with better gear once we have a bow that can actually handle it. As for all this stuff, I figure we ride, just like get up out of here. I, I don't know. I see no reason to stay. It seems to be fairly well resolved at this locality. What do you have over here? Any decent plastic bags? Give me that 53% in case this one rips. I was trying to carry an extra bag just in case. Oh, hell. Well... I guess we could hit the final building. Why not? My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. Yeah, that was sudden, wasn't it? Anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next salty episode of Neo Scavenger. I've recovered, but sometimes it takes me a minute. With Neo Scavenger, sometimes it takes me a minute. Like, I've just got to turn the game off and, like, walk around the living room for a minute. Just pace. And just be like, uh, uh, this is not okay. Uh, my world is falling apart right now. It's kind of like come to terms with it because sometimes I'm I have a temper sometimes I have a, the Swedish death oh my God birds dying everywhere okay we'll come back later how you do everybody.